Good evening, my name is Stephen Davis. I'm an advanced PGA professional here at Westridge Golf Centre. I just wanted to talk to you tonight about our Top Tracer range system. I've had a few questions about the accuracy of the system and uh, how does it work. I'm just going to sort of talk you through that now. So what happens is there's four cameras placed strategically on the driving range and they track the golf ball the whole way. Um, I've got the track man here with us as well, which is used by tour professionals around the world to give information to them about their, their ball flight data and what's happening with the cut through impacts. I'm going to do a little comparison here so I can show you how accurate the uh, system is. So I'm going to start off uh, with, a, with a seven iron here. Just get a couple of shots. If we have a little uh, look at the screen here, you can see that's the uh, Trackman figures. So we've got 119 mile an hour ball speed. If we look at the same on the top tracer, 120 mile an hour ball speed. We've got a carry of 182, flat carry of 178. This is saying it's 178 with a launch angle of 18.7 and a height of 88. Same here, launch angle is 19 and a height of 86, so again, pretty accurate by all the counts there. We'll have another little go with a 7 iron, then we'll try a different club. Same again there, I'll try and get the uh, both screens in at the same time. So we've got ball speed, 120 on the track man, 121 on the uh, top tracer. Carry distance, 177.6, that's 178, the flat carry there on the top tracer again. Height, 92, height, 92. And launch angle, 18.4, it's got 20 on the uh, top tracer there so again very very similar figures all round there we'll have a go with a, uh, a driver now A little look at that one there. So this one with the uh, the track man there, we're looking at uh, 114 feet height. We've got 113 there with the top tracer. Carry of a 248. Uh, we're saying carry here of a 240 there. Ball speed 153, and we've got 150 on the uh, track man there. Again, launching at 14 degrees. That's uh, the same figure on both of those. So. Getting pretty good there. Another drive, not quite so good that one. So we're saying a carry there of uh, 228, full speed 148, 151 on the top tracer on this one. Uh, we've got a uh, launch angle there of 11 degrees, 10.3 on the uh, on the track right there. So as you can see, you know the figures are coming up pretty good, really. They're both uh, very similar. I'll have a little go with a, a wedge shot now.
again looking at very similar numbers there we got full speed of 63.6 64 on the top tracer uh, height of 46 height there 46 launch angle at 34.8 and 35 and a carry distance of 71 there and 72 73 actually on the carry so again all the figures are looking very good we'll have one more shot So a little bit shorter that one there, but again, same sort of readings, ball speed 41 and 42 on the top tracer, carry distance 34 and 33.8, launching angle at 37 and 36.1, so again, all the figures there are, are very close together, which is obviously what you want. see if you're using the top tracer range system you can have full confidence in the fact that it's going to give you some very good readings there very accurate readings uh, i hope you found that useful just a couple of little points as well um, every now and again it won't register a shot a lot of the time that's when you don't quite get the height the ball needs to go above 10 feet in the air and for the top tracer it needs to travel approximately sort of 30 feet something like that so it needs to go about 10 yards away um, but yeah any questions about the system that you'd like to know, please ask myself or one of the guys in the shop and uh, hopefully you found this useful and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.